steam quality is a fraction or a percent that describes, for saturated conditions only, the mass of vapor divided by the total mass. Here, m sub g is the mass of the vapor, and m sub t represents the total mass of liquid water and water vapor. The word vapor and steam are used interchangeably. They both refer to the gas phase of the mixture. Traditionally, we use a subscript F for fluid to refer to the liquid part of the biphasic mixture, and we use the subscript G for gas in referring to the steam or vapor portion of the mixture. A quality factor of 1 is all steam, and a fraction equal to 0 is all water. Water vapor does not behave very closely to an ideal gas as temperature goes up. And so we use water tables, also called steam tables, to find specific volumes VF and VG. VF is specific liquid volume from a table lookup. We want units of cubic meters per kilogram. VG is specific vapor volume from a table lookup. Again, SI units are meters cubed per kilogram. V is a fixed volume in cubic meters of a container. In practical situations, we usually are given this. MF is the mass in kilograms of the liquid portion of the water-steam mixture. Remember, F stands for fluid. MG is the mass in kilograms of the vapor portion of the water-steam mixture. G stands for gas. MT is the mass in kilograms that is the total mass in the system. That's the liquid plus the gaseous or vapor portion. X equals mg over mt is what we defined above, the very first thing. That's the mass fraction of vapor. This is called the steam quality. 1 minus x is the mass of the fluid divided by the mass total the mass fraction of liquid. This is just a useful definition, as we'll see when we do one of the examples. Vs is the volume of the fixed volume of the container divided by the total mass. This has units of specific volume, cubic meters per kilogram. In engineering, it's often called the system's average specific volume, and it's used in calculations. I don't usually use it but we will see in most texts that they do. Indeed, V over MT should be calculated because if it isn't in the range as shown here below, uh, then we aren't in saturation conditions and steam quality has no meaning. So VS needs to be in between VF and VG. Now the guiding principle that we'll be working on is that the volume of the system has to be the mass of the fluid times the specific volume of the fluid plus the mass of the gas times the specific volume of the gas. To get the mass fractions, we just divide through by the total mass of the system. Then, by looking back, we can see that mf over mt, here's mf over mt, is 1 minus x, so we convert mf over mt into 1 minus x, and we can see that mg over mt, mg over mt is x, and so we convert x in place of mg over mt. Now we can solve the equation for x, and if we're asked for the actual mass fractions, mf and mg, we can just use their definitions to find them. All right, so now we'll go through a quick example. We put some water into a tank that has a known volume of one and a half cubic meters, or 400 U.S. gallons. Now we raise the temperature of the tank to boiling and purge the air from the tank. We then close the valve and regulate the heat to hold the tank at 120 degrees C. What pressure will be on the tank? The tank is on teared load cells and after purging has a total container weight of 2.424 kilograms. What is the vapor quality above the water and how much liquid water is in the tank? Going to a water table, we find the following data. 
at a temperature of 120 degrees C, we find a pressure of 198.5 kilopascals. Now, I used Google to convert that into PSIA, which is 28.79. That's absolute PSI. I needed PSIG, so I subtracted uh, 14.6 from it, or 14.7, I forget, and that gave me 14.09 PSIG. Then, in that same table, I found VF, the specific volume of the fluid, and I found VG, the specific volume of the gas, all at that temperature. Now we just plug our values into our vapor fraction equation. So we had a tank volume of 1.5 cubic meters. We had a tank weight, I mean a liquid weight or total weight of 2.42 kilograms. This is our VF. This is our VG. This is our VF again, all according to this equation. And that gives us a vapor fraction or steam quality of 0.7. Now the question asks, what's the vapor quality above the water? We got that. And how much liquid water is in the tank? As for how much liquid water is in the tank, uh, we can use this equation, 1 minus the fraction times the total mass is the amount of liquid in the tank, the mass of the liquid. So that's 1 minus 0 0.7 times 2.42, or 0.727 kilograms, which is only 727 mils. Now we'll do another example. Suppose I want to sterilize the inside of a closed 20 liter pressure vessel. The vessel will be put into an autoclave and the temperature raised to 121.1 C for a sufficient amount of time. How much water should be put into the pressure vessel to have a theoretical steam quality of 1 in the vessel? All right, well, the first thing we have to do is go to a steam table and look up 121.1 degrees C. Of course, we don't find 121, so we have to interpolate. In this case, I interpolated using a table that went from 120 to 130. Probably not as accurate as if you could use a table that went from 121 to 122. I'm not sure that it matters that much. Anyway, I found a pressure of 206.38 kilopascals. I got a specific volume, as shown here, for the fluid, and I got a specific volume as shown here for the gas. I also had to convert my 20 liter pressure vessel into cubic meters, and I get 0.02 cubic meters. Now, our guiding equation is this fraction right here, and so what we want to do is plug everything in. Well, I plug in 1 for the uh, theoretical steam quality. There's the vessel volume. Mass is what I don't know. Total mass how much water to put into the can is what I don't know. And then I use VF, VG, and VF. So what we're going to do is solve this equation right here for mass, M, M sub T. And we get mass to be volume of the can over specific volume of the gas minus specific volume of the fluid times our fraction, which is 1, if you'll recall, plus the uh, the fluid specific volume. So that's going to be 0 0.02 cubic meters over VG minus VF times 1 plus VF. And that gave me 0 0.02306 kilograms, which is only 23 mils in that 23 liter vessel. As a check, we should compute V over M's T, and, and we've done that right here, this is to make sure that we will be within saturation conditions. So we compute that and we get 0.8673. Then you want to put that number in between the specific volume of the fluid and the specific volume of the gas and make sure it meets this equation. Well, it does, just barely, but then that's what you expect since we were trying to get a steam quality of 1. Now, we could have done the same thing using the ideal gas law. Here I've written the ideal gas law, and what we're going to do is compute the moles of water that are required at these conditions. We would still have to look in a table and interpolate to find the pressure at 121.1 C, but having done that, I put the pressure here, I put the volume of our can, I use the universal gas constant, and I've written the temperature, 121, in Kelvin degrees. 
That gives me 1.259 moles. You multiply the moles of water times the molecular weight of water of 18 grams per mole, and you get 22.67 grams. As I said, it's slightly less accurate, and that's because the uh, universal gas law doesn't really hold for water vapor when the temperature starts to increase. Using too little water, such as this would do, would result in reduced pressure in the tank and a consequence of not getting the necessary lethality for sterilization. If you used way too much water, you'd have a puddle in the tank and thus have a small portion that's not seeing steam. Ideally, you should just calculate it and use the right amount of water. I hope you've understood this video. If you have questions, you can leave them in the comments. Other than that, press subscribe if you like it. Thank you.